Now you've heard anglers talk about matching the hatch. Well, you'll catch a bait, you'll fish that bait, or you'll have a plastic, or some kind of an artificial that matches what it is you're fishing as a live bait. I guarantee there's nothing on these reefs that this thing matches, but it doesn't have to match. These fish, this is an instinctive bite because of the noise and the commotion. They can really basically care less about what that lure looks like. I mean, look at that. The only match that that hatch matches is maybe 1968 San Francisco. Bill, I reckon Joe would look a bit like that diving after a big night on the carver. <laughs> But the more important thing is the shape and that face. You're gonna cast this and keep tension on that line. The tension pop, tension pop, tension pop. And you're literally just chugging this thing through the water. The more loud, obnoxious movement you can put on that lure is what's gonna get the most attention by these GTs. Yeah! Oh my God, what a powerful fish. Little one, little one, but how fun. This gives us a chance to see what these guys are. Okay, Tim, are you gonna put a tag in this? Uh-huh. Excellent. We got a little small pelagic tag here from the Australian Tagging Program. It's got a little serial number printed down the side here and a return PO box address. Excellent. So we're gonna put this in the applicator have you seen much return on, uh, on tag data on GTs? Absolutely. We've tagged a lot of fish. Now sure, the, the return rate is low, like there's a lot of fish in the ocean sure. out here. The chances of catching that fish again is pretty small. But with a lot of fish tagged over the years, we have had quite a few fish return. And the information is not only very interesting for us as anglers, but it's crucial scientific information for, uh, for the scientists to protect and look after and monitor how the stocks are going in the wild here. Now we're gonna put this tag, this little barb here, in behind the spines that are coming down from this Absolutely. second dorsal. We're gonna angle it through the spines, rotate it so that that barb locks around a spine, and then there we go. Beautiful. Now it's got that tagged, the, uh, the code number there, yep. and we're gonna let that fish go now and away it off, Beautiful. off it up. Here you go, boys. Let's let him revive a little bit. He's looking pretty damn good, actually. We'll get a bit of water flowing past the gills on this fish. I think it's smiling, Bill. He's grunting, like all jacks do. See you, buddy. To order WFN, contact your TV service provider today. WFN, it's a great day for fishing.